I've commandeered this office in our communications wing at St. Mark's as we're looking through thousands and thousands of photos that we take for a project that we're working on on campus. And these photos have so many kind of different aspects to them. I, I don't know about you, but I always kind of scrutinize the photos, the ones especially of me. I, I think about them in terms of their composition and their subject matter. I look at the lighting and the angle and there's so many variables that go into a photo. It's hard to kind of look at a photo and, and just like the photo. We, we go through all of these photos kind of wondering which one is gonna be the best. Uh, for instance, this video took almost seven takes. <laughs> And we keep kind of looking at it and wondering whether that's going to be the best one or not. Well, I think that God looks at our life and we often think that God scrutinizes us the same way that we scrutinize these photos. He's kind of looking at us from all these different angles and seeing what imperfections he can find and kind of what critiques God can make. And yet, I don't think that's how God looks at us at all. I think God sees in us every moment of our life being the perfect photo that God adores and delights in. Even at the moments when we find ourselves vulnerable or, or, or even making a mistake, I, I think that God has mercy and grace to understand how we got to that moment and, and, and understand that, that we're going to be able to be forgiven for that moment and redeemed from that moment into something new. So as we go through this life, may we look at our own lives with the same compassion and love with which God sees us. We'll see you Sunday.